Hey, fabulous listeners. Welcome back to the show where we're all about empowering busy professional women like you to thrive in every aspect of your lives. Today, we're tackling a topic that is near and dear to many of our hearts. Setting boundaries and mastering the art of saying no. If you've ever felt overwhelmed by endless commitments or struggled to prioritize your own well-being, this episode is for you. Get ready to discover practical strategies for setting boundaries with grace and confidence so that you can reclaim your time and your energy. So let's dive in. Are you ready to break free from the chains of busyness and reclaim your time? Then mark your calendars because my upcoming workshop, The Time Management Makeover, is just what you need. It is coming to you live on February 29th at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. In this live event, I'll be revealing four powerful steps to help you unlock the secrets to time freedom and create more space in your life for the things that truly matter. Don't let another day slip away. Sign up now to reserve your spot and take the first step toward a life of balance and fulfillment. Head over to the link in the show notes or go to gracefieldleader.com forward slash workshop to secure your place. Now, don't worry. If something happens and you aren't able to join live, I will be offering a replay for those who register. But there are going to be special offers only available to those who join live. One more reminder, the link to register now for free is in the show notes. Welcome to the Grace Field Leader Podcast. Do you want better work-life balance? Do you get stuck in patterns of perfectionism and people-pleasing? Have you always been an overachiever but never really felt good enough, no matter how much outward success you achieve? Do you want more time for the things that matter most? Well, you are in the right place. Here on the Grace Field Leader Podcast, we focus on spirit-driven success and share the secrets to having better work-life balance as a busy woman in leadership. Here you will learn how to set boundaries like a boss, find peace of mind, and reclaim your time for the things that matter most. Hi, I'm Tanya, a wife, mom, leader, and certified Christian life coach. For most of my life, I tried to find worthiness through achievement. I spent decades people-pleasing and pouring myself into my work. I was looking for my value through the approval of others. This led me to feel burned out, empty, and exhausted. I had no time or energy for myself or my family. I realized that I was wasting time and energy looking for validation in all the wrong places. But my life changed when I finally surrendered and God showed me a different way. It is my mission to help you start living the abundant life God has for you. If you're ready to become fueled by grace and find freedom from people-pleasing, if you're ready to multiply your time and impact as a Christian woman in leadership, this podcast is for you. Roll up your sleeves, sister friends. It's time to get after it. As busy professional women, we often wear many hats and we're juggling numerous responsibilities both at work and at home. It's no wonder that our schedules can quickly spiral out of control, leaving us feeling drained, stressed, and stretched thin. But here's the truth. You have the power to take back control of your time and create boundaries that honor your needs and priorities. Today, we are equipping you with the tools and insights you need to do just that. The importance of setting boundaries are number one, to protect your time and energy. Boundaries act as a shield, protecting your time and energy from being depleted by unnecessary or draining commitments. And by setting clear boundaries, you create space for the activities and the relationships that bring you joy and fulfillment while minimizing stress and overwhelm. Setting boundaries allows you to prioritize your own needs and goals without feeling guilty or selfish, eventually at least. Because I know, all y'all struggle with feeling guilty and selfish when you go to set a boundary or say no to something. But by saying no to activities that don't align with your priorities, 
you create room for the things that truly do matter. Whether it's spending quality time with loved ones or pursuing your passions or investing in yourself, your learning, your profession, your self-care. So I'm going to talk about some practical strategies for setting boundaries. Number one, know your limits. Take some time to reflect on your personal and professional boundaries. What activities or commitments drain your energy? And what are your non-negotiable things that you have to spend time on or want to spend time on? Identify your limits and be clear about what you're willing and unwilling to do. And what you might have to do is go back to your your dream life, the way you want your life to look, not how it looks right now. And in order to align with that life, think about what are you willing and unwilling to do. Remember, it's okay to prioritize your well-being and say no to things that don't serve you. Yes, it's also important to say yes to things that are God-honoring assignments that God truly intends for you. So I don't want this whole kind of prioritization of self and self-care to be misperceived or misconstrued, that it's all about you and you should make no time for anything else. No. The ultimate goal of all of this is that you learn how to prioritize your time and set boundaries that allow you to do the things that are important to you and that you're passionate about because those if you're in God's word and listening for his direction that will help you align truly to the things that he wants you to do so a second aspect of setting boundaries is communicating assertively assertive communication is key when setting boundaries be clear be direct And be respectful when expressing your needs and your limitations. Use I statements to communicate your boundaries without placing blame or making others feel defensive. For example, I need to prioritize my family time on weekends or I'm unable to take on any additional projects at this time. You don't owe people over explanation. Another key to setting boundaries is to practice saying no gracefully. Saying no doesn't have to be confrontational or uncomfortable. With practice, you can say no gracefully and assertively. You can offer a brief explanation if necessary, but again, avoid over explaining or justifying your decision. Remember, you don't owe anyone an explanation for honoring your boundaries. Think about it. You know some people in your life that really don't struggle so much with setting boundaries, at least not as much as you do. Think about times in which they say no or they turn down an ask or uh, an opportunity. Do you judge them because they're setting a boundary around their time? If they're, if they're doing it gracefully and assertively, not over-explaining, Do you think that they owe you a bigger explanation? Probably not. So why do we think that we have to over-explain everything and somehow have some obvious reason that we can't say yes to something? And somehow we think that ourselves or our self-care are not legitimate reasons, and that's just not true. You have to take care of yourself if you want to have the energy to serve others. Number four when it comes to setting boundaries is to set clear expectations. Communicate clearly your boundaries and your expectations to others, whether it's colleagues, clients, or family members. Be consistent in reinforcing your boundaries and don't be afraid to reinforce them if they're not being respected. This is really difficult. Many of us tend to just cave in or, you know, not reinforce our boundaries because we just don't want to deal with any potential backlash. But guess what? The more that you practice and the more that you are consistent and enforcing your boundaries, honestly, the less you will have to because people will start to learn that it's something that you're going to do, that you're not going to cave under guilt or guilt trips, that guilt trips don't work as well as they used to. 
And eventually you're going to be able to set your boundaries and they'll be far less often questioned. Number five, when it comes to setting boundaries, we've talked about this time and again, is prioritizing self-care. Self-care is a vital component of boundary setting. Make time for activities that nourish your mind, nourish your body, and most importantly, nourish your soul. Whether that's exercise, meditation, prayer, spending time in nature, certainly for us as Christians, it has to include time with the Lord, time spent in the Word, quiet time just seeking to hear Him and better understand His character. Soul care is truly the most foundation as, foundational aspect of self-care, and it is the foundation to all of my Christian life coaching. Honestly, if you're looking for filling up all the spaces and the holes in your life, you will never be able to do it if God is not the foundational piece of that puzzle. So just an aside, um, but remember that setting these boundaries isn't selfish. It's an essential act of self-care that allows you to show up as your best self in all the areas of your life. You cannot show up to do your best if you are not caring for yourself and putting forward your best self. So, congratulations, my incredible listeners. You've just listened to the complete crash course in setting boundaries and saying no like a pro. By honoring your limits and communicating assertively and prioritizing self-care, you are taking the first step toward reclaiming your energy and your time. Setting boundaries isn't about being selfish or confrontational. It's about valuing yourself and your well-being. So until next time, take care, continue to prioritize what truly matters in your life, be filled with gratitude, peace, and God's amazing grace. I pray this episode blessed you, spoke to you, or encouraged you in some way. If so, please share it with a friend and head on over to Apple Podcasts to leave me a review. That's the only way for me to know if you're enjoying the show. Nothing blesses me more than to hear from you. Also, come on over to our free Facebook community. This is a great place for us to support one another on our faith and leadership journeys. You can find the link to the group in the show notes or go to gracefilledleader.com forward slash community. If you have questions or content ideas for the show, please send me a message on SpeakPipe or via email. Go to gracefilledleader.com forward slash contact and leave a written or voice recorded message. I would love to know how I can best serve you on the podcast. Now to him who can do immeasurably more than we can ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us. Ephesians 3 verse 20. Until next time my friends, God bless.